Hi guys and welcome to another DB theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We've got another little hover effect for you today. We've got some blurb modules with the icon on the top. If I hover over an icon, it's going to spin and change color. Really easy to do. We've got to write a couple of lines of CSS to make this work today. Don't let that put you off. Any code I write today, I'll put below the video as usual and you're welcome to use it. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. So let's go down to where I want to work. I'll just add an, a new row in between. And I'll give it three, the same as above. I'm going to use a Divi blurb module for this today, purely for the icon. Obviously put your title in there, put your text in there. As usual, you can align it make it into titles, paragraphs, bold, italicize, and add links if you need to. You can also add media here. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. But I want to use an icon rather than an image there. So I'm going to go to image and icon. I'm going to flip the switch to on. Now they've just upgraded that icon list to include font awesome. So it's huge. I'm going to do a search. And let's grab whichever icon you want to use there. Great. Well, let's move on to our design tab now. I'm just going to give that a basic color. And I'm going to shut that up. I'm going to go down to text and just align my text in the middle there. OK, well, let's make this work. So what we want to do is when we hover over this thing, we want it to spin. Then when we let go, we want it to go back to normal again. So still in the blurb settings, let's go to the advanced tab. We can go down to custom CSS. You open that up. We've got some boxes before main element after blurb image. That's the one we want. Blurb title below that blurb content. Blurb image is the one we want. We were actually using an icon, but it is the image itself. OK. So where we're not hovering over it, we want it to stay where it is. And common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing there, you'll see some icons appear. Go to the one that you want to affect. If there's an arrow there, we can set a desktop state when the mouse is not on it, like it is right now. And a hover state when the mouse is actually on it. For the hover state, I'm going to write a little bit of code here. I'm going to say transform colon rotate now I want to rotate mine around the X axis so I'm going to put a capital Y in there no gap after the E then I'm going to open some round brackets no gap after the Y and the brackets inside I'm going to tell it how much to rotate by I'm going to get mine to rotate by 360 degrees so at 360 DEG deg degrees I'm going to pop a little semicolon on the end there OK, so if I go back to desktop state, the time it actually takes to rotate around its Y axis, I can set in the desktop state. So in the desktop state, I'm going to say transition duration. And it's prompted us there. You can just click on the prompt if you want to. I'm going to give mine about a second and a quarter. So 1.25 seconds. 1.25s semicolon. So now it should take about a second and a half. As you can see, it's doing it down there. About a second and a half to rotate around the y axis. You can do it the other way if you want to flip it the other way. Let's go to this version. Change that capital Y to an X. Capital X. Now when I do it, it's flipping the other way. But I think I'm going to leave mine on the Y. Great. And just for a bit of fun, why don't we have it change color when it gets to the other side? So no more coding. We'll leave the code as it is. We've just got those two lines to so transform, rotate and transition duration. So still in the blurb settings, I'm going to go to my design, image and icon, icon color. 
And again, hover over the dark riding. You'll see those icons appear. There's a little arrow. When we hover over it, I'm going to have mine change to red. Now to match it with what we've written, I'm going to have the transition duration for it to go from blue to red to be the same as what we wrote in the custom CSS, which is 1.25 seconds. And to do that, go with the advanced, go down to transitions, Divi's default is 300 mils, which is pretty quick. I'm going to have mine up to 1.25 seconds. You can either slide it or type it in. 1250 milliseconds is 1.25 seconds. I'm going to leave it just like that. We should be good to go. And of course you can just rinse and repeat. Once you've done one of these, just copy it over, change your content and icon out. Let's just switch out these icons for a bit of fun. Okay, let's save our page changes, little purple button at the bottom, expand, hit the save. Let's exit the visual builder and see what we've got. Go on down, there's our little icons, little blurb modules. When we hover over, taking a second and a half to spin and turn red. Same with these right here. That's a nice little effect to have on your side. If people are mousing around, that's going to get their attention, which is what you want. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.